There's nothing like an eye-catching commercial sign to attract customers. Many signs have three-dimensional lettering or decoration. Whether you hang a small plaque, an old-fashioned shingle, or a huge overhead sign, a business name in 3D really stands out. These signs are made of high-density polyurethane foam, a material that's waterproof and very durable. The sign starts out as a line drawing, which they render into three dimensions using specialized software. They send the file to a computer-controlled router that carves the design into a piece of foam. The router can be outfitted with various blades to get different effects, such as rounded edges or this faceted effect known as prismatic lettering. Once they've finished carving the design, they switch the router blade to an end mill, a cutting tool that slices straight down through the foam. Guided once again by the computer, the router gradually detaches the design's components. After coating the pieces with primer, they spray them with two to three coats of polyurethane paint. It dries to a durable, hard as plastic finish. This design calls for gold and black lettering. They'll use gold leaf instead of gold paint because it lasts longer and has finer color and luster. First, they brush on special glue for gold leaf called size. They wait 12 hours until it becomes tacky. Wet glue would merely absorb the gold, producing a dull finish. Gold leaf crumbles at the slightest touch, so it comes on a paper backing, making it easier to apply. Gold leaf is available in different qualities. The lower the carat level, the more alloys it contains. This is 23 carat leaf, the closest you can get to pure gold. Because it contains no other metals, it won't oxidize, tarnish, or dull, despite acid rain, road salt, or other harsh elements. Using silicone and screws, they mount the lettering onto a painted aluminum frame. Another option would be to mount them on a painted background plaque made of the same foam as the letters. Designs can also be engraved directly into a plaque, then highlighted using either paint or gold leaf. They use vinyl film to mask the parts that won't be decorated. This time, they apply loose gold leaf rather than the kind that comes on a paper backing because it's easier to brush into small areas. When the gold leafing is done, they carefully remove the film. This factory makes signs in a variety of materials, everything from wood to stainless steel to plexiglass. The choice is determined primarily by whether the sign will hang indoors or out. Besides lettering, signs often incorporate 3D objects made of resin or fiberglass. The factory casts these components in molds, then paints and mounts them. They'll create this sign in various thicknesses of aluminum. The same computer-guided router does the cutting, but now they have to continually douse its blade with coolant to prevent the friction-generated heat from melting the metal. They coat the components with metal primer before applying polyurethane paint. Assembly is simple. They screw aluminum studs to the back of all the pieces, then bolt them onto the background plaque. Thanks to the wonders of computer technology, design possibilities are virtually endless. A true sign of the times.